transportation and health facilities as well as other social amenities to improve the quality of life of Nigerians. However, if public opinion is anything to go by, then the efforts of the government do not seem to go in the direction of the desires and expectations of Nigerians. As a result of this, the nation was engulfed in a nationwide series of protests recently because of the intense economic hardships and rising cost of living perceived to have emanated from bad governance. In a nation plagued by economic uncertainty, the imminence of hunger looms large over a majority of the population, while health challenges are reducing the distressed population in staggering numbers every day. Our economy is characterized by high unemployment, reduced industrial output, and lethargic growth. This presents a particularly grim scenario. The allusion to bad governance has serious deleterious manifestations which can heat up the polity and the sensibilities of citizens as manifested in the recent protests. The outcome of the protests manifested in loss of lives and destruction of properties, both public and private, of unimaginable value. Such actions damage the economy and pulls the development of a nation in their need of positive development backwards. Bad governance often leads to negative outcomes for society and the economy. It is denoted by corruption, misuse of public office for private gain, bribery, embezzlement, nepotism and favoritism, lack of transparency. All these and other related policies actions through inactions of government erode public trust. It further manifests in inefficiency in public services, poorly managed public services, such as health care, education, and infrastructure, and a failure to meet the needs of the population. Bad governance is revealed in weak rule of law, resulting in human rights abuses, injustice, and a lack of legal protection for citizens, especially the vulnerable. In such places, poor economic management indicated by excessive inflation, unemployment, and a widening gap between the rich and poor persists, thus creating social inequity in, or inequality. Above all, one of the critical hallmarks of bad governance is lack of proper physical planning, which is the doorway to environmental degradation, slum development, urban sprawl, land racketeering, unchecked pollution, deforestation, and depletion of natural resources accompanied by its long-term negative impacts on public health and economy. The removal of fuel subsidies and the depreciation of the Naira led to skyrocketing inflation, which hit 34.19% in June 2024. Food inflation in particular surged to over 40%, significantly, significantly increasing the cost of living for most Nigerians. These economic strains were exacerbated by rising food and transportation costs, leaving many Nigerians struggling to afford basic necessities. The response of government by the distribution of palliatives and increasing the minimum wage of civil servants to 70,000 Naira per month did not appear to have an answer to the questions being agitated in the minds of Nigerians in the face of rapidly increasing living costs. We cannot but view 
that these protests highlight the urgent need for meaningful reforms in governance and economic management to address the root causes of discontent among Nigerians. The supposed good intentions of policy and the supposed good intentions of policy of lawmakers hardly see the light of the day because of lack of inclusiveness. Many developments conceived as constituency projects budgeted for do not meet the expectations of intended beneficiaries, thereby end up as ghost and orphaned projects. Budgets are wasted because of misalignment with community needs, resulting in unforeseen challenges during implementation, delays, cost overruns, or project failure in places where such projects had political will and cash backing. At other times, which is the fate of many projects, they end up in the coffers of the initiators of the projects. Alas, this is a nation where budget performance is not measured by physical development, but by the amount of funds released, even if they went into the pockets of individuals. But we must arise above and beyond protests to achieve meaningful projects and progress through good governance, to address the current developmental, physical planning, environmental, and socio-economic challenges being faced in Nigeria. Addressing the problems of hunger, energy, and transportation crisis in Nigeria require a multifaceted approach that tackles the root causes by involving strategic planning, policy reforms, and innovative solutions. This could be achieved through agricultural revitalization by investing in modern agriculture and providing farmers with access to improved seeds, fertilizers, and modern farming techniques. Adoption of climate smart agriculture to increase productivity and resilience against climate change needs also to be adopted. The government should improve rural infrastructure, such as roads, storage facilities, and irrigation systems to enhance food production and reduce post-harvest losses. Better roads will help farmers transport their produce to markets more efficiently. Financial support, access to credit, and training for smallholder farmers who are responsible for the majority of Nigeria's food production should be facilitated by the government. There is the need to strengthen agricultural value chains by ensuring that farmers have access to markets, to fair prices, and transparent trade practices. They need to promote local consumption of locally produced food. The federal government would need to frontally address the energy crisis through diversification of energy sources, upgrading the power grid, and implement policy reforms that encourage investment in the energy sector, remove bottlenecks, and ensure transparent and efficient regulatory practices. There is also the need to promote energy efficiency in industries, homes, and public buildings by encouraging the use of energy-efficient appliances